Now it's time for something very important. Not that everything I do isn't important. It's very important. This is even more important than most things. Because it's going to teach you a skill. Skill that you will need to have going forward. And that, of course, is the skill of selling VHS tapes and DVDs or getting people to rent them, rather. I know a lot of you kids out there, a lot of people say under the age of 30, you probably never stepped foot in a, a, a Blockbuster before. It's fine. I loved it. Loved it. It was great. Get the VHS tape, go home, put it in the VCR. It was amazing. Now everybody's desensitized to it because the Netflix and the, and the Hulu is and the, the Disney Pluses and whatnot. But back then, you'd go out, you'd get in a fucking car, drive somewhere where there's a Blockbuster, go in, pick a limited amount of things to take home. Maybe you get some overpriced popcorn, some uh, some candy, some concessions to complete the the simulation of the movie going experience. A lot of people watching this are too young. You have no idea. You only heard of Blockbuster because people use it as an example a lot of a business that used to exist and no longer does. In fact, I think the last one went out of business in like Alaska or whatever it was. So it's officially defunct. Defunct Blockbuster. But, thanks to YouTube, of course, one of the things that killed Blockbuster, ironically enough, is, well, YouTube is just full of old training videos and, and just great stuff. I watched some of it a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. What the hell did we watch? I forget already. Oh, it was Pizza Hut. 1988 training video from Pizza Hut. This is a Blockbuster sales training video, I believe, from 1990 teach you a very, well, many very vital skills. Buster Sales. The year was... Youngins, that was an actual place. VHS tapes, and then towards the end, DVDs. Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh, that's right. You dumb kids, you don't have, you don't know the the pleasure of bumping into people, making them drop their videos. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hi. Harris. I didn't see you come in. I haven't seen you in a week or so. Have you been out of town or something? Oh, no. Our VCR was just in for repairs again. It was awful. <laughs> the VCR was in for repairs. <laughs> Most people don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Literally, the VCR would stop working so you would take it to a place for them to fix the VCR. Can you imagine trying to make conversation with Mr. Harris? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's back now. Good. Yeah, Mr. Harris is a real fucking douchebag. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of different movies you might not have seen before. Can I help you find anything in particular? Oh, thanks. I'll just look around. I'm sure I'll find something. Okay. Mm. Now, the good part of the video starts. <clears throat> guy in the TV is talking to her. <clears throat> For those of you not watching Yo, the video, Marie! The hey, let's wake up! Oh, uh, who are you? My name's Buster. Buster Sales. Um, uh, our... Buster Sales. The trailer tape must have jammed. I am no tape. See? Oh, the money. Hey! And on video cassette. Well, what are you doing here? I am a professional opportunist. That doesn't sound very nice. No, not that kind of opportunist. You see, I'm one of the world's greatest authorities on opportunities. I find people who need help, and I help them. And clearly, you need some help, especially with finding opportunities. I know an opportunity when I see it. Sure. Like the time Mrs. Harris's son, Brian, asked you out, and you turned him down to go to Jane Allworth's stupid slumber party. Shh, not... Buster sounds like to get personal. Get in your shit, bitch. So loud. God, his mother is right over there. 
And anyway, how is Isaac? That's right, you should have been banging him. I'm supposed to know he was that hunk friend of Tyler's with the beautiful eyes. And the tickets to the Bon Jovi concert. I don't want to discuss that. Don't worry, she can't hear us. And it's a good thing. That's right. I'm your hallucination. She can't hear us. She can't hear what I'm saying to you from the television. Last week, you had an opportunity to rent Mrs. Harris a blockbuster VCP. Oh, while hers was being fixed? Yeah, but she doesn't need one now. She needed one last week. So? You had an opportunity to tell her about your rental units two weeks ago. Then she'd have known she could rent a VCP from Blockbuster when she needed one. Yeah, well, I could go tell her now. Good idea. Oh, and ask her how Brian's doing while you're at it. You might still have a chance with him. We'll talk more about opportunities. That's right. Go get some dick from Brian. <laughs> that self-video cassette player. Later. Dumb hoe. It's the Buster sales. Oh, Mrs. Harris, I wanted to remind you. Mrs. Harris, how's your son's dick? ...you that we have video cassette players for rent. So if you ever have to put yours in for repair again, you can just stop in here and pick one up. Well, good. I'm glad to know that. I'll do that next time. It's a little fucking trouble. Take your VCR in to get it. Back then, they were VCRs. I guess now they're video VCPs, video cassette players. Or they were, to the, I guess you couldn't record with them. You can only play with them. I don't know. This is 30 fucking years ago. I don't remember that well, or that much, or that well from back that long. In any case, you take one to the shop, you're getting it worked on, you go to Blockbuster, you rent another one, you take it home. So when yours gets fixed, you bring yours home, you take the other one back to Blockbuster and go back to them, along with whatever videos or, or, or uh, accessories or whatever you may have rented as well. Well, as usual, you're out of the new releases I wanted. Oh, I'm sorry. What movie did you want? Well, actually, I wanted to see Sean Connery in The Hunt for Red October, but you're out. Well? Oh, she wants to bang Sean Connery like you should be banging her son Brian. I'm sure we have some copies coming in later today. And we probably have some other Sean Connery movies. By the way, how's Brian? Oh, he's fine. Actually, I thought he might be meeting me here. He has some friends coming over tomorrow night, and... I guess he's counting on mom's delivery service to pick out the music videos. Will you help me here? What do you think I should pick out? Hmm. Um, no, I don't think this one. No? Yeah, I think I'd go with those two plus, plus this one. You go rent music videos for your VCR. I'll tell Brian I said hi. Okay. And I'll see you when you bring those back. There you go. Now what does Buster Sales have to say? And you think you can spot an opportunity? <laughs> oh, man, this dude's a real dick. <laughs> now what? I told her about the VCP rentals, and I helped her pick out a tape. And I asked about Brian, so I'm trying to get some Brian dick. What the fuck more do you want Buster Sales? And that's fine. But didn't you miss something? What, like a chance to meet Brian? No, 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 no. Look at it this way. You have Sean Connery. You add Mrs. Harris's interest. And what do you get? You get more rentals and... You get Mrs. Harris rubbing herself out to a different Sean Connery movie. And a happy customer. I told her we had other Connery movies. But can you name one? Could you have placed a Connery tape in Mrs. Harris's hand? I guess so. But sometimes I forget the... The same hand she's going to use later to rub one out to Sean Connery? Titles. Look at it this way. There's three basic steps. Remember to listen to your customers because they're giving you clues about their needs. Second, think how Blockbuster can solve those needs. And third, act with good customer service. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. He just threw a tape at her, at her through the TV and she caught it. Holy shit. That was the production value on a 1990 Blockbuster sales training video get the picture look at this list of 50 best videos and commit them to memory get to know popular actors in all their movies oh that's a great idea i'll go tell brian's mom i mean miss harris don't <laughs> like bro was making three dollars an hour <laughs> it's like memorize the top 50 movies and all of the actors and all of the other movies that those actors have been in for your three dollars an hour don't be pushy just be helpful 
Right. Just ask how Brian is. Do we like, hey, is Brian's dick hard? You know, save some, <laughs> save some in the tank. Okay, I have this back Saturday night before midnight. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi, Kristen. How's it going? Pretty bogus, actually. I'm babysitting again this. <laughs> this is. <laughs> it's pretty bogus, actually. Weekend. Not you ask. Maybe sitting such a drag. I don't know how you feel. So you ready to check out? Sure. I know how you feel. I'm having hallucinations of some guy in the TV <laughs> talking to me and throwing videos at me. <clears throat> oh. What now? This fucking guy. It's just not enough for him. You want to keep an eye on this. I see an opportunity coming. Hey, are you okay? You look a little... Just a hallucination I was telling you about. All good here, baby. A little freaked out. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just checking... I ate some peyote buttons before my shift. The monitor. That's all. Now, um, let's see. Oh. Oh, I see. See what? What? Like, am I on hidden videos or something? No, no. Your hallucination is bogus. Hey, um... Kristen, haven't you checked this video out several times before? Yeah, at least five times. I mean, I could have bought it by now, you know? <laughs> Why don't you buy it? You know, all our tapes are for sale. No kidding? That's great, I'll take it. Oh, and you know what else? My little brother Spike has a birthday coming up. He's a regular Star Trek maniac. He wears Spock ears to school and everything. But if I only knew which show he wanted, I could buy it for him now. Well, pull out your cell phone and call... Oh, that's right. It's 1990. Hey. Hey, why don't you rent a tape now and then see if he mentions one of his favorite episodes to you? Oh, geez. That's a great idea. <laughs> now I don't have to give him a Vulcan mind nut or something. <laughs> hey, where are your Star Trek videos? Oh, but I can show you where. Thanks. And I'll just... Yeah, that guy looks like he knows where the Star Trek videos are. Hold these for you. Bye. See you, Kristen. Now, Buster Sales has to be happy with that. I mean, what kind of fucking Hitler-ass maniac fascist wouldn't be happy with that shit right there? So, how was that? So, hallucination, Buster Sales, how'd I do? Not bad. One out of two, not bad. What do you mean, one out of two? This fucking guy. This fucking guy. This broad is busting her ass for change every hour. <laughs> She's selling people shit they don't need. What the fuck do you need to buy a tape for? Why are you renting the same thing five times? Haven't you seen it already? Buy tapes. Go rent Star Trek so you can come back and buy Star Trek. The fuck does this dude want? Well, you rented and sold Kristen all the tapes she wanted. And that was great. But what about Spike? Oh, that. Oh, don't worry. She'll be back. She just wanted to figure out which tape you wanted. She'll be back? What the fuck do you mean she'll be back? What if she goes outside and gets hit by a bus? And then she won't be back, and you didn't sell her enough Star Trek shit. You dumb bitch. You stupid, stupid bitch. She may die tomorrow, and she'll never be back to Blockbuster. Sell her all the Star Trek shit you can for Spike. She doesn't have to. We have a great solution for customers that aren't sure about the perfect gift. Oh, you're right. I always forget about the gift certificates until oh, after they've left. The gift certificates. They... It's no good after they've left. Gift certificates. Come on. Upsell those motherfuckers. I should practice that listen, think, act. Right? It's as easy as one, two, three. Am I right? Hallucination? Yes, you, you saw that correctly. It's the end of part one. So in a future episode, we'll have the exciting conclusion of the Blockbuster sales training video <laughs> from 1990. Won't that be exciting? Of course it will. It's going to do it for us. Stern Jesus Show, chapter 3, verse 35. All information on the show is sternjesus.net.